So yeah, greetings from Berlin, Germany. It's a place that's getting more and more polarized as everywhere else in the world. If you look at statistics, Berlin and Germany is faring not too bad actually. The economy has moved from fourth place in the world to third place in the world, which is admirable, isn't it? Well, I'm not telling you news, but the pie is not divided very equally, actually it is divided very unequal. You have a lot of poverty even here, even though Germany has the third largest net minimum wage in Europe, after Luxembourg and Ireland, okay? In the EU, I mean, yeah. So that's a big deal, and there's a lot of jobs, but do they cover the necessary for a person to live? Yes. To live comfortably? No. Absolutely not. It is not ideal. So yeah, you say, okay, nothing is never ideal. There's no ideal situation. Okay, also true. But then again, you have to realize that you will begin to see visible signs of poverty. And in two years, since I've been here, in just two years, I can see these things. And the homelessness has tripled. It's visible. There are people without any means of survival or to sustain themselves. And it's really a tragedy. And it's a, it's a danger to the society. A lot of people who are pissed off, a lot of people who are excluded financially, socially. Is it their own fault? Is it not their own fault? I, I can't say that. I really, I can't say that. But to be fair, the society, society has to include everybody. So yeah, the gap between the very wealthy and the very poor has dramatically increased has dramatically increased over the past couple of years, let's say. Even a couple of months, you can visibly see it. So yeah, this is the problem with Germany and with Europe and with the world. And after Covid and the war in Ukraine, prices have gone up dramatically. Okay, they should have gone up because that's how the economy works, but they gone up unjustifiably and it's speculation speculation disaster capitalism speculating these events to unjustly raise the prices so the prices were raised more than they should have been raised more than the mathematical let's say standard of everything so yeah I'm just gonna give you a glimpse into this growing inequality here in Berlin, Germany. So yeah, let's go. That place over there where it's boarded up, that used to be a vegan shop for vegan food. Bankrupt. See over there where those cranes are? There used to be like a shopping mall with a supermarket and a pharmacy and a fast food, like a small shopping mall. Gone. Bankrupt. For example, the donut kebab, the Durum donut kebab. Prices have increased, for example, in this place, prices have increased from 4 euros to 7 euros for Durum donut kebab. And for example for donut kebab the price has gone from 4 euros to 6 euros 50 or 6 euros in the space of two years basically so we're in Berlin and we're in a good neighborhood in the Warsaw area which is an upper middle neighborhood. Remember this is an upper middle neighborhood. And here you're gonna see huge disparities between rich and poor. 
huge, huge disparities. And you say, okay, inequality, right. What do you mean by inequality? Well, inequality, this is the difference between rich and the poor. And okay, there's uh, some rich people, very rich. And there's a lot of poor people. Okay, not a lot. We have nothing, nothing is not a lot. But there are important numbers, let's say, people who have nothing. But there's also a very consistent number of people who are in the system, are helped by the system, to the forms of welfare, to the forms of, let's say, Burgergeld, which is that fabled universal minimum income. What is that? For example, if you've worked for a year and you get fired, not through your own fault, of course, which is hard to prove, you get 60%, 66% of the, your wage through the form of unemployment benefit. Cool. Let's say you'll scrap it, you'll manage it. And if you haven't worked for a full year, if you're a new person in Germany, if you're an immigrant, haven't worked for a full year, and you lose your job, you are in, not entitled to unemployment. But in certain circumstances, you can be entitled for burger guilt, which is basically the sum, the sum of 500 euros per month now on the SPD plus the cost of your rent. But this is where the catch lies, the cost of your rent. The government has dictated or set or calculated that rent should cost a certain amount in different areas of the country, in Berlin as well. Every neighborhood has a recommended price. Usually rents in Berlin are 30 to 40 percent more than the recommended price by the government. So landlords don't really pay this kind of stuff. Or you pay rent in the white a, a certain sum and in the black the difference, which can vary this difference. So basically when you get this burger guild, they technically cover your rent plus 500 euros per month, which should be sufficient until you find another job, it would not be any problem. But your 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 real rent is different from the rent supported by the state in a lot of cases it can be double so you're basically uh, getting let's say 350 rents or 400 plus 500 that's 850 on average but your rent costs 600 or 650 or 700 for a room so you end up in a situation when you put like you get like 850 let's say from the state in a certain situation and you end up paying 600 of it towards rent costs or 650 and you end up with like 200 left for food or less so yeah and this is for a limited period of time usually so yeah okay the generous welfare state that helps everybody well to qualify for this meager substance which is not even enough to eat properly and to cover your rent for a limited period of time to qualify for this thing you need to have now to have no other means of subsistence to have no right for unemployment which is 66 percent which in many cases is 66 percent of minimum wage is around 1200 1100 per month netto yeah, and it's not brilliant. So you see, there's no wonder of the welfare state. Okay, without it, it will be even worse. True, but still, you can't speak of a, of a wonder of the welfare state. Yeah, so nevertheless, these are the conditions.
sometimes in laundromats like this a lot of homeless people are gathering and staying in the warm and yeah that's the reality you're gonna encounter them when you go and wash your clothes and I did this for a couple of months until actually for maybe little less than that until the landlord brought me a washing machine so it's a very unpleasant experience but it's a social uh, truth it's the truth of what's going on with the rental market all over the world not only in berlin because i used to live in france and then the uk for a long time and now in germany for two and a half years but the rental crisis is real i can't say what it was about 40 years ago or 50 years ago because i'm simply not that old but yeah it's real in this crisis So yeah, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, if you really like it of course, and click the notification bell, you'll get notified whenever I'm posting something new, and in the, the description there will be a link where you can donate to the channel, if you want of course, and yeah, so far so good, so what?